Hello friends in this tutorial we are going to learn a new concept called as introspection so let us first try to understand what is introspection introspection means looking within inside so this is a common feature in any programming language which allows object classes to be manipulated by the programmer you will find introspection particularly useful when you don't know which class or method you need to execute at design time introspection in php offers the useful ability to examine classes interfaces properties and methods php offers a large number of functions that you can use to accomplish the task so in this tutorial i will cover four functions so let me start with the first function so first function is class exist this function checks whether a class has been defined and the second function that i am going to discuss is the get class function which returns the class name of an object so let me first create a parent class so first i will create a class called as introspection and within this particular introspection class so now what i have decided in this tutorial is that i will cre create a super class called as introspection and then i will create one child class so within the introspection class i will create one description function which will just display some message so let me write this function so i will write public function description and it will echo or just display i am a super class for the child class right now i have not created the child class but i will be creating soon in this program then i will just close the class then next as i have told you i am going to check the first introspection function if class exist now suppose if i want to check whether a class named introspection exist or not and if it exist then i want to display the name of the class so what i am going to write i will write if class underscore exist and within the bracket i will mention the name of the class so here i will write introspection and within curly braces first i will create one object of the class introspection so for simplicity i will just write the here name introspection dollar introspection variable is equals to new introspection don't get confused between this here the dollar introspection is an object and here the class name is also introspection but i have started the class name with capital i okay now next i'll just display echo the class name is now i am interested in getting the name of the class isn't it so i will now use get underscore class math function and within it i will pass this introspection variable and i will be calling the description function of this of this object introspection hence i will write here dollar introspection and i will call description function so let us now close this and uh, save this file now let us save this file with the name introspection.php now let us go to our web browser and uh, now i will run this file introspection.php and see here what output i have got so currently what it is displaying it is displaying that the class name is introspection and i am a super class for the child class because that is what we have written in the description function now moving ahead let me now create one child class now to create the child class it must extend the parent class so here in our example introspection is a parent class 
so i will discuss now one more introspection function that is a get underscore parent underscore class function now this returns the class name of an object's parent class so first i will create the child class so here i will write class child extends introspection and within it again i will write description function now note here my super class description function content is different and the child content is different so here i will write public function description and within it first i will display i am now currently i am interested in first knowing the class name right so i will first write here get underscore class and i'll pass the parameter dollar this so that the child will be displayed means it should display that i am a child class right and next i am interested in knowing that this particular child class belongs to which parent class so further i will write and then on next line i'll write echo i am now i want to know the parent of this child class so i'll use get underscore parent underscore class and again i will pass the parameter this child and use the br tag so close this description function so note here what i have done here is that i am interested in knowing that whether a child exists and what is the name of the parent class of that child after creating this child class so let me first create the object for this so what i am going to do is that again i am going to use the function class exist and i want to put a condition here like this that if class exist and inside the bracket i am passing child so child means what here child is i am checking whether a class name child exist or not so if it exist then i want to create an object of this class child okay so in the next line i am writing here dollar child is equals to new child and then i am calling the this child's description function now if you see the earlier content you can see that i am writing the description function in both parent class as well as in the child class so if i am creating an object of child class then it will call the description function of the child class so what will be the output achieved by th this that it will display i am child class and i am introspections child so this is how you can declare the child class now save this and now go to web browser to check the output and here you can see that what has been displayed i am a child class and i am introspections child right now next i will discuss now one more introspection function which is known as is underscore subclass of now this particular function checks whether a object has a given parent class so either you can use the get parent class method or you can use this is subclass of method right so next i will write here if in the bracket is underscore subclass of i'll pass here the parameter dollar child right and here i will pass introspection so what i want to intend to check is that whether this child class is a subclass of the parent class called as introspection so here i will write echo if it is true then echo yes this child class is a subclass of introspection otherwise i want it to display that this class is not a subclass of the introspection class so let us save this again go to web browser and check the output so yes it is displaying that child is a subclass of introspection so this is how 
the introspection functions work in the php